we are back. Uh, I can really hear the race cars over at the Daytona Speedway right now, so I'm sure you can probably pick them up on the microphone as well. Uh, that just is what it is recording in a sunroom. Um, the painting is coming along real nice. It's all dry. In fact, let me switch over. There we go. So we've got our view of the painting and the there and the uh, photograph of the bird as reference. Um, I do want to bring this shadow color up to here, as you can see in the the photo. You've got the green and the pink really comes up right up to there, and it does that reverse slant of that. So I have to fix that. Um, I want to come in with that darker pink, start to put some of the darkers in, a little bit darker on the shadow side of this, do a little dry brush in there, um, and then get that area inside of the, the beak. Um, that'll go pretty quickly. Uh, then I'm going to throw down the, the green and yellow and orange that's in the plants on top of the water, and uh, that'll be it. That'll be it for this wash. Then the next wash will get the the background and final details so without further gilding the lily let's come in down here and start adding some of this and it comes to about here I'm going to dry off the brush just a tiny bit. Get that like that in there. You get... I'm going to kind of roll the brush rather than... There. Kind of get... This... Kind of a stamping effect going on here. That pulls that. And a little bit of that, rough up this edge, just a little bit. You don't want it too clean. Um, that looks super. And I'm gonna come in here, a little bit more careful because I wanna frame these feathers a little bit. that it's amazing with a good brush this Kalinsky sable has a lot of point on it so I don't have to switch to a smaller brush all the time which can be really really helpful to not have to bother with that and this does something like that. All right, now we've really, really started to take our rosy spoonbill to that next level. I'm really, really starting to love this. And it's not taken a lot to get us there from where we were. We had a really good, good start that got us up and running and we'll do this now what I want to do here is I've gone around this one feather and on the downside I'm gonna just brush it with water and smooth that and come in into here like that um, now what we need to do is get a little bit of that gray color we were working with because I want to and I want this to be dry out the brush again this has got a very rough texture and I want to kind of replicate that so by using a fairly dry brush 
kind of on its side. I can make that happen. And this comes down to here. This shadow area is its darkest above the shoulder. And so I'm adding a little bit more and a little bit darker. And this also has some rough edge to it coming out. So something like that. pretty darn good and it's a little bit grayer here on the beak coming down to here but I don't want it that dark so I'm gonna tap it out that's better um, see if I can still get this yeah yeah see that's that's better now I can come in here it's really up here that I want to get this couple of dots and lines and just squiggle it out a little that really feels much better okay now I do want to get that shadowy color which is both cool and warm and it's a little bit darker here inside the bill light touch with the brush just continue down. Now I'm going to grab that warmer dark. There's a little bit of a rusty orange color in it. And as you get down towards the opening, it's a little bit lighter. So I just added a little bit of water. And we'll fill up the brush with a little bit more warm tone and come down here like that and this gets dark again here and then this thing that happens where it's very light right next to the dark part of the beak. So I'm going to create that light part by painting the rest of the beak a little bit darker. That allows you to see that light stripe there. I'm going to do the same thing on this side and pull it down and then just pull some of that out. We don't need all of it. Okay, and th that may get darkened up yet again. Um, I'm going to grab a little bit of a purple color to go into this gray. Just darken those folds there at the neck. And again down here. Just to give it a little bit of variety. A little spice of life as it were. Okay. That looks great. What else do we need to do? Um, I'm going to come in here and even go a little bit darker than what we've already put in here.
out at the tip here. It gets a little bit cooler, a little bit darker. And I'm just grabbing a little, little violet to pop into that red color. So you get a little bit of a transition there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna punch in a little bit of a dark at this crease underneath. close to being completed. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that pink color and blot some of it out and then I blotted too much of it out. It's a, it's a balancing act to get just enough on your brush to make these calligraphic kind of dry brush marks that really do help make all the difference. All right. coming in and just negatively painting the end of that fringe of the lighter color on the legs and continuing with the shape of the legs. Okay. And as I promised, we're bringing some of this color gonna randomly because it's been moving around sort of a way something like that doesn't have to be too precise in fact you really don't want it to be and what we're going to do now is I'm gonna mix up some yellow and some green and we're gonna make all of these flowers, or uh, leaves, I guess they are, mossy kind of, leavy kind of, mossy leavy kind of things. And I'm going to grab a little bit of orange and set it aside in my palette. So that's the three colors I'll work with. And I'm going to come in and wet some of this down. Again, this is that medium Kalinsky sable brush. The only place I really have to be careful is around Sorry. Snoopy seems to have found something he wants to bark at. Um, I'm going to do the same thing here. Get right up to that edge and then there's some yellow and green here. Hey, Snoopy. Sorry folks. And this is all gonna get covered over to some degree by the dark so I'm not too worried about it. Um, so we're just going to lay some of it in. Some of it with hard edge. And some of it with a nice soft edge. Because remember, we're going to bring the, the dark coming up to it. So it's not that big a deal. Um, all of these areas that I've drawn in are really just suggestions, nothing fancy.
the soothing sounds of the cars at the racetrack. I hope they don't really bother you guys. As we get up into here, I'm going to be more dry brush. So it's like the sun is glinting off of these. And get in there with some orange dropped in for a little variety. Okay. Uh, that's it for now. I'm just going to soften up a few of these edges. While I'm thinking of it, I want to just start to get definition in those legs a little bit by giving them a little bit of separation. Okay, um, that's it for now. We'll come in and do more darks in the background and the final details in video number three, which I'll do tomorrow. So it's moving right along. Things are looking great and uh, can't wait to see what you guys can come up with.